Hey everyone, this is AVJV Gaming bringing you training technique number 15, which is called the World Cup Mirror Method, and I'll explain that into this video. It's how you can make coins during the World Cup really effectively. Such a simple method, and you guys are going to be laughing at how many coins you can make. Now, we're going to start this one off by going into a fixture list. This was back, I believe, five days ago when I made the video. You can see over there that Australia, we're going to play Netherlands, Spain and Chile, and Cameroon and Croatia. Now, what you have to do is you got to more or less predict which team is going to win first. And I chose Netherlands going to win, Spain and Chile to be a draw, and Croatia to be a win for them. So what, I need, what you do after that is you're going to be more or less looking for players from the ones that are going to be winning or from a team that's going to mainly have a goal scorer. And in terms of goal scorers, the more goals they score, the more higher the value is going to get. But I'll explain that in a bit more detail, but I want to sort of more or less cover, for those of you guys who are wondering, What's the mirror method? What does this have to do with it? So, mirror method's a name I came up with around three years ago, I believe it was. And it's where, if something happens in real life, it reflects over into the ultimate team market. For example, uh, if a player scores a hat trick in real life, if you go over to ultimate team, you'll suddenly see that their price starts increasing. And that's more or less a reflection into the ultimate team market. Thus the name, the mirror method. So, the World Cup edition is similar, but you're just using the World Cup aspect of players scoring loads of goals in the World Cup and their price is going up in uh, Ultimate Team. So because you can't exactly trade in the World more or less trade in the World Cup edition of the add-on of FIFA, um, you more or less use it in Ultimate Team and you can make yourself quite a bit of money. Now anyway, getting over there, you can see I'm looking for Robin Van Persie against Spain. He scored a quite a nice set of goals over there and his value did go up. And then it's gone down a little bit after that sort of that little bit of a break. So what I was thinking, especially against Australia, I thought, you know, he's going to go and score quite a few goals. So I was looking to possibly what I'd call investing into him. You can do this in two different styles. One is investing and the other is more or less going as the game plays. So example, if you don't want to invest because investing can be risky and you can lose a lot of coins on investing. So I'd definitely say uh, do the second version, which is if you see a play, if you're watching the match and you suddenly see, you know, Van Persie just scored, go and pick up a few cheap ones on open buy, open bids or buy nows, and you might start seeing his price start increasing. So I definitely wouldn't say go and pick up ten, because some people would, you know, would do that and take a risk and probably lose out, because sometimes players' values do go up and sometimes they go down. But you're more or less. I more or less use players that are like, uh, as you can see, Schneider over there. If he scored a goal, or a player like Wojnarowski over there, because Wojnarowski pick him up for 300 coins or 350, discard him for 300 coins. So even if you don't sell him for more than your buying price, you can always quick sell him and then you make a 50 coin loss doesn't really make a big difference to your club. So these are little things that you guys can take in because discard value is very important, especially with the mirror method. Uh, for example, I'm going to cover uh, France, for example, because that's one that I really uh, use quite frequently and I made around 20,000 coins just using Benzema from France and Olivier Giroud. Uh, another player was Griezmann, Kabai and Matuidi. So getting back to it, as I was saying about um, Giroud, I was picking up my Giroud's for around 700 coins to 750 and you know if, if I had to discard him I could discard him for around 650 coins. So I'm only making a 100 coin loss but as he was playing in the game, as soon as he got subbed on, his value went up to 900, it went to 1,300, and it sort of stayed between there. So I was making myself 500 coins, and then when if you guys have bought, like, maybe, like, for example, I actually bought four or five of him, and then I was thinking about buying more, but I said there's no point, because the main player who was scoring goals was Benzema. So that's what I did. But as you can see there, because I thought there was going to be a draw between the two teams and I thought Diego Costa was going to score, I thought Sanchez was going to score, um, I more or less was looking into those players. And you can see that's the values that were going on Ultimate Team at that point in time. And it is on Xbox for those of you guys who are wondering and getting loads of notifications at the same time. But anyway, getting back to it over there. Oh yeah, but by the way guys, we hit 4K subs, so that's been absolutely insane. So thank you guys for your support on that. But uh, getting back to France, because we need to look for Benzema. Benzema is a very great player to make a lot of money on and he's one I was picking up as you can see there he's going for around 2.9 you can pick him up for 2.6 and when he scored the two goals um, I believe it was and the keeper scored an own goal in that match um, his value went up to 5.4 and I was making quite a little bit of coin so I think I'm going to show you guys a little bit of a cutout from that video it was in the journey series so if you guys have missed that episode I believe it was episode 16 or episode 15 uh, but we'll jump to it over there you can see I was selling my Benzema's for 5.4 
and in making quite a bit of nice profit, I was making around 2k profit. And if you've done that with 10 uh, Benzema's, you're making yourself 20k straight away off the back. And I was doing it with Verbrenner because he was also having a very nice match. So there it is, guys. Very simple method. All you need to do, watch a match. If you see a player score, um, just look for the cheapest value one you can find in the market and pick it up and make yourselves a lot of coins. And that's one thing I'm going to be doing today during the Cameroon and uh, Brazil game. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed and hopefully this has helped you out a lot. It's very simple. As soon as a player scores, try to pick them up as cheap as possible. And if they score more than one goal or maybe two or three, uh, you're going to be doubling their value in the game. So anyway, guys, if you have enjoyed, by all means, please do drop it a like. If we can hit 30 likes, I'll bring out another training technique on informs and man of the matches. But uh, yeah, as, as always, guys, drop it a like, subscribe. And this has been AVJV Gaming, and I'll catch you all for the next video.